ridiculous. Harry and Meghan's CO2 commit mocked by Piers Morgan as reversing what they said. Piers Morgan has mocked Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's pledge to lower their carbon emissions amid their well-publicized use of private transport, including jet planes. Piers shared a news article reporting on Meghan and Prince Harry's pledge for their charity brand Archul to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2030 in view of his 8 million followers. In response to the news, he typed, Did they pledge this from aboard Sir Elton's jet or the Clooney one? The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who are currently living in their $14 million mansion in California, shared a mission statement on their Archul Foundation website today. The couple said they will work with an independent consultant to track all Archul related activities from inception to understand our collective footprint. Posting on Archul today, Harry and Meghan commented that they have actively made choices to offset and balance their carbon footprint but that nearly every activity in daily life results in the release of carbon into the atmosphere. They added that they will be looking at what they eat and how often they eat it, as well as their commute and use of heating and electricity, in order to cut down their footprint. Referencing COP26, where world leaders and senior members of the firm have met this week, they said, as global leaders convene for COP26 to commit to solutions for our climate crisis, all of us at Archul, led by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, share our pledge towards a more sustainable future by becoming net zero by 2030. They added a link to netzeroclimate.org which explains how to go net zero. The website explained, net zero refers to a state in which the greenhouse gases going into the atmosphere are balanced by removal out of the atmosphere. The term net zero is important, for CO2 at least, this is the state at which global warming stops. The statement was released hours after the Queen neglected to mention her grandson Harry at the COP26 conference. Royal Watchers have claimed the decision not to name Czech her environmentalist grandson while addressing COP26 last night was a glaring omission, because the Duke of Sussex and his wife Meghan have been very vocal about green issues. However, Prince Harry's often scrutinized Travelist Venture, which works in partnership with Skyscanner, TripAdvisor, and Booking.com, has been used as an example of how the couple is presenting their image through their work. The ex-Good Morning Britain presenter claimed that the Duchess of Sussex has exploited Prince Harry's royal status. Piers Morgan has claimed Meghan Markle exploited Prince Harry's royal status for financial gain in a Twitter rant. The ex-Good Morning Britain presenter fumed after it was announced the former actress will speak on women reaching economic and professional parity at a New York Times online summit. The mother of two will appear on the panel to discuss solutions for women to help reach economic and professional parity. Taking to the social media platform, Piers, 56, shared an article alongside his rant that highlighted Meghan's, 40, latest move. She will appear in a half-hour session called Minding the Gap alongside Melody Hobson, co-CEO and president of Ariel Investments and the chairwoman of Starbucks Corporation. It comes after Meghan bought Starbucks coffee for employees working overtime to campaign for paid family and medical leave in the U.S. In view of his 7.9 million followers, Piers said, nothing better promotes women reaching economic and professional parity than giving up work, marrying a rich British prince, and ruthlessly exploiting his royal status, whilst trashing the institution that grants it, to make hundreds of millions of dollars. The ex-GMB host didn't provide any examples of his claim following his tweet. Meghan, who is a philanthropist and humanitarian, was a successful actress in the hit series Suits before she tied the knot with the Duke of Sussex.